welcome. Today we're going to be doing a micro scale acid base titration lab and I have a lab uh, assistant with me today. Want to introduce yourself? My name is Kyle and you might recognize me from a day when I came to Mrs. Miller's classroom. How old are you? Seven. And in what grade? First grade. Now, almost done. I know, almost done. Have you done labs like this before? Labs with cups like this? No, I've never done no. about this. But what do you have to have in every lab? What are we wearing? You always have to put on your safety glasses and because if something you uh, don't have them, I'm just pretend there's some, no, something in here and I accidentally shake it around and it goes up, splashes into my eyes. That could be really bad. Yeah. So should, should, we, uh, should we drink from here? Never. Never. Okay. So hopefully you have a copy of the lab. So if not, go back, get one out. So let's talk about the... Uh, equipment today. So this is an Erlenmeyer flask and it's empty right now. We have a graduated cylinder with 10 milliliters of water. If we were in the lab at school I would use distilled water but we're just going to use tap water from the sink today. And then we have three chemicals. We have vinegar right from the store. I don't know the molarity. I don't know how strong it is. What's this? This is 0 0.50 MnaOH. So this is the base. So obviously vinegar is acid. This is the base. We know the concentration. It's 0 0.50 molar sodium hydroxide. Now this is quite the name. Can you say that? Never. That's like right too long. I can't even see the beginning all the way to the end. All right. So this is called phenolphthalein, and it's an indicator. It's going to go from colorless, no color, nope. to pink. Like and when it turns, yeah, and when it turns pink, pink this, we're pink. gonna be done. Yep. All right. So we've got those. Let's keep those away. Um, and so when you see the color change, that's when we're going to have our end point being met. When acid equals base, when we've been neutralized. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, and Colin, you can help me with this, is we're gonna test the pH of the acid in the base. All right. So I want you to hold the side here. So this is pH paper. Maybe you're familiar with your pH paper from your pool or a fish tank. It's like orangey right now, right? Yeah, we are orange. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna put a drop of each of these solutions on and you're gonna tell me what color they look like, okay? So you just need to hold that little thing Side. on. Yep. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a drop of vinegar. Okay. So can you get closer here? All right, so now take the side of the container. This? Yep. What color looks like that? Was it a one, a two, a three, a four, or five? What looks it, like that? It looks like it kind of two-ish. Okay, so the pH of vinegar is a two. And then let's do the base, the sodium hydroxide. Okay. Look at that. Okay, what color is that? Kind of... 11 or 12. Let's say 12. Yeah, I would usually say that. Okay, so, so the acid has a low pH, the base has a high pH, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not going to test phenolphthalein. That's an indicator. Do you remember what color the indicator is going to turn? It's going to start off colorless and then it's going to become pink. That's right. Okay, so the first trial, we're going to have to put 10 drops of the acid. The acid is the vinegar. Okay, will you count for me? Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, 10 drops. Hard to see that, right? There's not yeah, very much. Like There's not very much. So let's put some water in here. You want to pour it? No, thank you. Okay, can you swirl it for me? Do you remember how I taught you? Yep. Good. All right, great. So in the flask, we have acid and we have the uh, water, just to give it a little bit more volume. All right, now we need to add the indicator. Phenol failing. I'm just gonna add one drop. One. Now what color is that? White. 
colorless, right? No color? No. Clear? So do you remember what's going to happen when we um, add the base? What color is it going to turn? Pink. Pink. So let's just for our data table, do you want to write this down for me? Sure. Okay. So for the data table trial one, I want you to put a 10 there. 10 drops of acid. Okay. And we're going to count to figure out how many drops of base. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> you're going to swirl it for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, get ready, hold it up here. But I need to get in, okay. So, one, swirl it. Oh, did you see how it was pink and then it went away? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. See how it's taking longer for the pink to go away? Mm -hmm. It's because we're getting closer and closer to the end point. So was that ten? Yes. Okay. Eleven. Twelve. Oh. Thirteen. Okay, take a look at that. That pink's not going away, is it? No, but it will if I stick it for what we No, it won't because we, we've reached the end point. So, how many drops was that? Do you remember? Um, there was ten in pink. Thirteen? Thirteen. All right, go ahead and write that Three. down here. All right, so then we'll do the calculations later. All right, so let's clean up. Put the cup toy. No, we're going to get ready for the next. Okay. All right, so here's that. Can I wash it off? Can I charge? No, it's too dark. That's okay. Okay. All right, so um, do you know what this is called? Did we talk about this? Um, no. Graduated cylinder? Oh, yeah, I remember that. That measures the water. Mm -hmm. All right, so it says... Repeat trial two as shown, but this time we are going to use 20 drops of acid. All right, so my water goes in. Will you help me count? Sure. We need 20. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. And the last thing we need to add is phenolphthalein. All right, what color is this going to turn? Pink. It's going to turn pink when we add the base. All right, so let's write down here where it says trial two. I want you to write down 20. We start with 20 drops of acid, and we're going to count the base. And what are you going to do with the flask? Shake it. Well, stir it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right now, there's the same number of acid drops and base drops, but is it pink yet? No. Okay, we gotta keep going. All right, stay with me here. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, that's not going away. All right, can you write 31 down? I think I'm getting used to this. 
good use of it. Yeah. Yeah. How much takes? How much it takes? And how much you write down? I wish you, I could see you guys do all your work. <laughs> yeah, they should definitely be doing their work, right? Yeah. Even though you're not with us, you should still be doing it. Yep. All right. Now, the third trial is going to be backwards. You know how before we always went from colorless to pink? So pink to color. To colorless, that's right. So we need to put in our 10 mill milliliters of water. And we're going to add our indicator, phenolphthalein. Well, you know what? Let's do it this way. We're going to put, it says, 20 drops of B. So go ahead and write 20 drops of B in your data table. All right. You want to help me count? Two, 20. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. So now, what's going to happen when I put the phenolphthalein in here? What color is it going to be? It's going to be uh, maybe pink. It's going to be pink. Whoa! So stir it up. So now we're going to start pink, and we're going to add acid. To go backwards, and then all of a sudden, it's going to turn clear, colorless. Just like uh, the backwards. No, kind of like. You ready? Yeah, like the window. Exactly. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. You're gonna swirl. How much do we need? I don't know. We gotta find out. Here we go. Probably one. One. Two. Da, 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 disappear. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Let's do it a little bit closer. Can here. we stop this Eight. investigation for a, for a little bit? For like wh one minute. Nine. Why? I just want to tell them Ten. that I. I think this is pretty cool because if you look closely 11, at the video <gasps> the thing, if you rewind it and see that there was pink, you could see it was pink and then some of it in the middle would go away. And if you just watched when I was talking, it was pink and then it just, it's like, right. it's like, you could so only it, one room with it. It took 12 drops of acid, right? 12. All right, now, so your data table should look like this. Do we remember our pHs? Yeah, so pH we said was two here and 12 here. So make sure you have your data table set up like that, okay? And so you're gonna do your calculations here and then you're gonna enter them. Oh, what was the concentration of this? What's the number there? 0.50 M. Molarity, okay? So what do you think? Should we just go have a sandwich now? What should we do with our hands? We should probably not go and touch the like snacks. What should we do with our hands? We should probably, because we just touch disgusting chemicals, we should probably go wash our hands. All right, so thank you for watching and uh, good luck in the lab. See you guys time in the next video of my video. I don't know what my video account's gonna be in. Alright, bye bye. Bye.